Rahim power. Now, since we are talking about the work, energy, and power, so this is the, the, the last thing in this segment, power. Now, in physics, power means the rate at which the working work is being done. So we have the formula for the work, which is um, F into S, okay? That is the distance, okay? Now, this... Um, um, since this power is the rate at which the work is being done, so we divide this by T. So if, if you um, divide the work by the time, so this is divided by time, so that is going to be the power. So power is the work divided by the time. Now, since this power has to be provided by the, the, the engine normally, because we shall be talking about the cars or the trucks, so they, they, they will have the engines and they, those engines will be providing, producing the power, okay? So, therefore, uh, in this formula, this F would be representing the driving force. Let me write this smaller d over here, okay? So, this is the driving force, okay? So, power is now going to be F into V because distance over time is V. So, the formula for the power is F into V, okay? Or you can write it down as power is equal to F into V, okay? Um, we shall be uh, going into the, the problems, inshallah. So, you will see that how this formula is uh, going to be applied in, in, the, in the complex problems of work energy power. I just want to tell you one one very important formula from here that since the power is work done by the driving force uh, like the driving force time s over t okay if you cross multiply this this becomes power into time that is equal to this is your work done by the driving force okay this is a very very important formula only the very highly scoring students remember this that work done by the driving force can also be equal to power times t that is basically the algebraic manipulation of like you know if you start from here so we can say that mainly you, we shall be using this formula power that is going to be f into v okay and um, this can be used in the cases where you will be using um, the, this change in mechanical energy of an object okay now let me list down the formulas that we have covered so far we started by saying that work is equal to f into s or f into d okay so this f uh, it can be the driving force then this work would be the work done with the driving force if it's a resisting force then this would be the work against the resisting force okay then you have seen the same formula as f cos theta times s okay that is for the inclined forces then you have the formula for the kinetic energy that is half mv square then you have the formula for the potential energy that is going to be mgh okay so uh, then there is the most important formula the golden formula that is the uh, change uh, in or, or or you can say the work done by the driving force minus work done by the resisting force that is equal to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy guys this is a very very important formula okay remember this this is going to be tested in your mechanics exam okay you, you forget all the other formulas, just remember this, believe me, you will be able to solve the problem on the work energy power, okay? Then we have the formulas for the power, power is equal to F into V, and I just told you that power time T, that is equal to the work done by the driving force, okay? So if you have this set of formulas with you, then I am going to take you to the um, the past paper questions in the next video inshallah you will be able to solve those questions with me thank you very much